Euluther AI has just published another open source version of GPT-3 called GPT-J6B, and as you would expect, it has 6 billion parameters. In comparison, the largest GPT-3 model has 175 billion parameters, but unlike OpenAI, Euluther AI is open sourcing and releasing all of their models. That means anyone can download and use these very powerful language models. If we head over to 6b.eluther.ai, it brings us to a web app where we can use the newest model. So let's type in something simple. How about we should invest in, and we'll hit run. Then this is a very large model, so we will have to wait. And the result is we should invest in technology as it is not only going to improve our lives, but also the future generations. We should invest more in tech as it provides huge opportunities and challenges in the future. And then it continues. One very interesting application of large language models is their ability to solve basic math equations. So if we give the model the math equation, what is 123 plus 100, and then we do not want the model to produce creative text. We just want it to go with the most likely output. So without going into too much detail on what these two parameters mean, we can just lower them and then we'll hit run. And as expected, the answer is 223 and uh, we can just ignore all of this below. So it looks like the model was successfully able to answer this question. Last week I published a course on how to implement and train GPT-Neo, an open source version of GPT-3 created by Eluther AI. Now this course also covers how to create a web app using 100% Python to demonstrate the model. And you can see the final result right here. So we used a service called Anvil to again create the web app using 100% Python. If you enjoyed the web app we just played around with to use GPTJ, then surely you will enjoy this course as it teaches you how to create something quite similar. I've included a link down below to the course. I've included a link down below to a Google Colab file created by Eluther AI that shows how to download and run GPTJ. Of course, this is a lot of code to explain, so I will not be explaining it in this video, but um, you can click the link below and start using it right away. I have a fun challenge for all of you, so head over to the web page we discuss in this video that allows you to use GPTJ, and then find a prompt along with settings that results in an interesting output. Comment the interesting output down below along with the prompt you used to generate it and the settings you provided, and I'm looking forward to reading what you all produce. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to click the link down below to view the course I produced just last week that explains how to implement and train GPT-Neo along with how to create a web app to display it. Stay happy everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.